Hello, it's James Or Prowse. You've been sending in all your great questions using the hashtag AskJWP. I'm going to get answering them. Who was your idol growing up and why? There's quite a few to be fair, but David Beckham, I think just because of his free kicks. What is your most memorable moment in football so far? I think my most memorable moment in football so far was probably my debut against Man City. It was a pretty exciting but daunting day at the same time. What meal do you normally eat after a game? Um, recently at the stadium we've been doing um, sort of pizza and chicken wings and stuff like that. So that's quite a nice way to, to start the weekend obviously after playing. Um, you obviously work very hard during the week and it's nice to be able to eat whatever you want after a game and uh, it's a pretty good feeling scoffing down lots of pizza for sure. Right. Who's the funniest player at Southampton? I think it's got to be Kelvin Davis. I think um, he's got all the jokes in the locker and when obviously new players come to the club he always gets them to sing and the way he deals with situations he always gets everyone in stitches laughing so good old Kelvin did well at the weekend as well. Have you got a celebration plan for when you score your first Premier League goal? I quite like the celebration I did when I scored my first goal. Everyone was commenting about the blue tongue. Uh, it's because I drank a Powerade at half time and it stained my, my tongue blue. Um, but I spoke to a few people about doing the Mickey Shannon. Um, it was quite a famous celebration when he was playing, so I'll be running down the touchline doing the windmill, hopefully when I score. Hashtag windmill. Most challenging player you've played against? I'll probably go for Eden Hazard. I come on against Chelsea twice this year um, when we were drawing the game and having to defend against him 1v1 was very difficult. He's so you know, strong and quick and his change of direction is, is unbelievable. So I think that's every player's worst nightmare is coming up against someone like that who's so, so strong and you know, can just run past you very quickly. Any TV series you're watching at the moment? I'm waiting for Game of Thrones. Love a bit of Game of Thrones. This is a good one. What career would you choose if you couldn't be a professional footballer? I think I'd be, I think I'd stay in the sport probably. Um, I'd probably want to become a golfer or play a bit of tennis. I think I'd want to be a golfer, you know. Definitely a golfer. Some good questions in there. What's your best moment in, a, in an England shirt? I think probably my goal against Brazil in the Toulon tournament. Um, I think uh, to score any goal is great, but to do it against Brazil, I think everyone grows up wanting to play against a Brazilian side at some point, and um, obviously to score a goal as well was, was great. So, What is the best bit of advice you've received from Ronald Koeman at training this season? I think it was about my free kicks. Um, obviously, everyone knows that he could take a good free kick, and you know, if you just look on YouTube, he's got some unbelievable ones on there. But I think he just gave me a bit of advice on on how to take them a little bit more precisely and be a bit more accurate. So, good advice. Right. Who do you get along with best in the England squad? It's not really. A, Definitive answer. I think we've got a good group of players here. Everyone gets on well with each other, and everyone's working hard for each other, and all the staff are together as well. So I think it's a good sort of team spirit, and everyone gets on well together. Thank you very much, everybody, for your great questions. Uh, I've got a rush now as we've got a team meeting and dinner.